I came around, I saw that the garage door was uh, blown out. Two people were seriously injured in a southeast Lincoln explosion tonight. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Nicole Cousins. Lincoln Fire and Rescue responded to reports of an explosion inside a garage at a home near 45th and South Streets. Tonight, just after 8 p.m., neighbors we spoke with say the scene was pretty horrific. Let's go out to Channel 8's Brent Bonfleur, who's live from the scene. Brent, what can you tell us? Well, Nicole, things are pretty quiet here now and the house is taped off for the night. Investigators can't get in the house right now because the explosion made things so unstable in there. Now I can tell you it was a completely different scene. Just about 30 minutes ago, the street was filled with fire engines and emergency personnel. But because they haven't been able to get inside yet, we don't know what caused this explosion yet. Now a neighbor told me that he knows one of the men who was inside when this happened and he's a welder and they said uh, Lincoln police also confirmed that they were working on something in there. They had a bunch of different tools. Now those two men have both been transported to area hospitals. They are in critical but stable condition tonight. Uh, as far as the extent of their injuries, we don't know a whole lot of specifics, but we were told that about 30 to 40 percent of their bodies were covered in burn. So very, very serious injuries. But again, they are in stable condition. Uh, let's hear from the neighbor I talked to earlier who said it sounded like a bomb went off. It sounded like an artillery shell when I woke up. I was sleeping in my recliner and then I looked up and I could see smoke. I heard somebody say that there was a fire in the garage. So I went to uh, my kitchen where I have a fire extinguisher, pulled out a fire extinguisher and um, I extinguished the fire. All right, we'll bring you updates as they become available on the cause. Again, investigators really haven't been able to get in here because the building is unstable. Now, this is a duplex, and the other people who are living in here uh, cannot stay here tonight. We'll bring you updates on the two men's injuries as well as the cause as soon as that becomes available. For now, Nicole, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Brent Bonfleur, reporting. And just another update. He did, was able to speak to some officials. They say, again, like Brent said, they have taped off the area. It is not livable at this time. Um, those two people were transported with burn injuries to St. Elizabeth Hospital. And again, we will keep you updated as this story develops.